Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw that landscape and why I decided to draw that landscape. At first it's almost summer and I live in one of the most beautiful countries, it's Montenegro, where is a very beautiful nature and that beautiful nature was inspired me on that landscape and if you're interested how to draw that landscape in Adobe Illustrator then keep watching my tutorial and one more guys before we start our tutorial I want to invite you on my Instagram page where I am talking about graphic design and my life in Montenegro and on my telegram channel where I am talking only about graphic design and you will find many interesting articles on my telegram channel about graphic design welcome on my instagram and telegram pages and now let's start the tutorial Now you see the size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at my design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design you can do it on my Patreon page, the link will be below the tutorial. And guys, if you want to start sell your designs online, for example on Adobe Stock or Shutterstock when I invite you to meet with my new book, 50 Easy Ideas, it's a book for a beginner designers who wants to start sell their designs online, as I already said. And if you want to know more about my book, you can go below the tutorial and you will find the link on my book below the tutorial. And as well, here you can find video instruction about my book and my 10,000 portfolio on Adobe Stock. Well, guys, my workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel, these colors. So uh, you can use colors here or you can do like me, create your own colors uh, on the left side. So let's take that color and rectangle tool and create rectangle like that. So for now you can take any colors. Uh, and uh, now let's take that color and again rectangle tool and create one more rectangle like that. And send it back. Now let's take, for example, that color and rectangle tool and create one more rectangle and send it back. Now let's select first rectangle and liner gradient and now we need here 90 degrees and uh, here I need that color and this one here. Let's move the slider a little. Okay, select the sky, again liner gradient, again 90 degrees and let's take that color and put it here and take that color and put it here. Okay, you can play with slider, for example, like that. Now let's take light orange color and ellipse tool, hold shift to create the circle. It's the sun. And select uh, the rectangle and the circle and send them back. Now align the ellipse. Make it a little bigger, you can move it down, for example, here. Align it again. Okay. Uh, now let's take white color and ellipse tool and create some ellipses like this. Uh, 
Select that one, hold ALT and make the copy. Select all three, move them like that. And now select all three ellipses and the finder unite. Now rectangle tool and create the rectangle. We need to cut off the part of the cloud. And now go to Pathfinder and intersect. Make it shorter and smaller, for example, like that. Hold Alt and make the copy, make it smaller. Select the cloud, hold Alt and make the copy move here. And now let's take that color and pen tool. And now let's draw here the mountains. Make like me, not the straight, not the straight line to create more realistic view of the mountains. Like that. Close the path. Okay. Now select the mountain and make it bigger like that. Now copy and paste the mountain and select that color and right click, reflect, vertical. And now make it smaller like this. Okay. Now, now select the C and take warp tool. And here I have that settings. Okay. And just move like that the tool and create the realistic waves. Select the sand and make it bigger. Now select the uh, C and smooth tool and make the waves smoother. Copy and paste uh, the C and send it backward. Move it a little up and take white color. Now take uh, the white C and curvature tool and move a little uh, points to create more realistic view of the C. Now let's take white color and create the rectangle like that. Make the copy. Now select that rectangle and warp tool and play with the line like that. Now select the uh, line and make it a little longer. Take that line and again warp tool and create the other realistic waves like that. Again you can make the waves a little longer. Okay. Uh, now, now let's create the boat. We need white color and rectangle tool and let's create rectangle 236 to 26. Okay. And now let's take direct selection tool, select that point and move it here. Now let's select that point and move it a little up. like that. Select that point and hold and drag to run the corner. Now uh, select the shape, copy and paste it twice. One of the copies move a little down, make it wider. Select both copies and Pathfinder minus front and select that color. Okay, let's take a uh, dark brown color and ellipse tool and create here the ellipse like this. Now hold Alt and make the copies. 
okay now you can uh, select them all and align them and a little rotate like that okay uh, now we need uh, the same dark brown color and pen tool and create the line here take that brush and here 0 0.5 now let's move to the center for example here select the red line and bring it to front uh, now let's take white color and pen tool and we need white color in the fill and here i want to create the first sail like that the first line the third point will be here a little around it and now here hold and drag to round the line okay the first is ready and let's create here the second with the same way like this now bring that red line to front select dark brown color in the stroke and pen tool and let's create here the first line now the second line like that now let's create some more lines uh, let's take again pen tool and create here the first line like that and hold out and make the copy and now let's send the red rectangle to front a little move that lines now select all shapes here and move them like this and you can select that corner with help of direct selection tool and a little around it okay now let's select that point with help of direct selection tool and make it longer now we need to take white color in the stroke and pen tool and create here some shapes like this okay and now again pen tool and at first direct selection tool let's move that sail a little up and pen tool with the white color in the stroke and create here the line okay uh, now let's bring uh, the brown line and red rectangle to front select all these shapes and the same to front and uh, now let's create one more shape it will be the flag um, rectangle tool with red color and now 
add anchor point tool add here one anchor and move it to the left with help of arrow on your keyboard now select their line and red rectangle and bring to front select the flag and warp tool make it a little more realistic okay uh, now let's make the flag a little smaller move a little up okay now let's select that lines and make them a little wider for example 0 0.7 okay and now let's select the boat copy and paste it move uh, here uh, go to object expand appearance object expand okay pathfinder unite now uh, transform reflect word uh, horizontal okay and take that color move here like that and make it shorter now select that uh, shadow and move like this okay and warp tool and okay like that it's ready and now you can fix for example the size of waves the size of sun the size of mountains so you can play with their design as you like now expand the boat and make it bigger for example like this and you can play more with their details like this okay guys now we need to delete that colors and create the rectangle to create clipping mask to delete the details beyond their artboard now ctrl a and right click and create clipping mask and uh, that's all guys our beach landscape is ready hope you like it if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about the graphic design bye bye guys Mwah.